Yeah. There are talk about uh, the slam you had there, which uh, you guys simply blew it, blew it open after that. Uh, it was actually Coach Barbie, honestly. He, he uh, I think we had like a timeout or something. He talked to me. It was like, you know, if you kind of just, you know, pay attention and uh, kind of play the play, you know, they're just going to swing and they're not even really looking. So you'll get a run out and really next time I did it, that's just what happened. And so that was part, partially him because I wasn't even like really seeing that. But it was just a play. Jimmy, like you took off at the free throw line. Oh, I did? Oh, I don't know. That's, that's cool, though. Coach talked about team defense and how that's come on. Yeah, I mean... It was it was weird because we were so like we have, we were playing so good defensively and it was like well, maybe we start working on offense and doing a couple other things different actions and just kind of got away from defense and you know we were just playing all right offensively and now we're back into it again you know doing defensive work I would say every bit of 45 to an hour a day now I mean it's just uh, it's just helped us I mean tonight shows two weeks without Alex how do you feel about it? Playing without Alex. Next man up. I mean, it's just kind of, it's just the theme, you know. I mean, one guy goes down, does isn't playing, and the next guy up. I mean, I've been really impressed with Isaac. I mean, even when he came in, he was probably the, the the one freshman I was most impressed with. I mean, obviously they're all very good players, but I like the skill set. I mean, he kind of knows how to play the game, and uh, he just he's a big physical kid. You know, that's what we need. I think we because you know our post presence it differs at times and. I think he could give us a really good post presence once he starts to get comfortable and you know getting in his little rotation and playing his min his, uh, his minutes. Have you talked to Alex at all? I have not. I've not. I've not seen Alex. Heard from Alex. Uh, you know, just letting him go about his business and you know just seeing where he's going from there. Just I honestly I haven't even heard about the situation really until you just mentioned it. Guys, guys often say that you know when their teammates are hitting shots offensively that it can be contagious. Is it that way on defense also? Yeah, I mean, one guy starts bringing energy, and it's like, it's just like going going downhill, you know, everybody else is going to come with it. And if you don't, then coach is probably going to take you out because you can't, once you hit that level, you don't want it to, you know, stop. You want to keep going and going, and it's just how it is. Derek, what was that like in that last little stretch before halftime when, every, when the crowd got real loud? How much has that helped you guys get going? I mean, that's what we need, you know. I mean, that's just part of the Big Blue Nation, the whole sixth man and all that stuff. I mean, it's just what we need. And, We're coming. And, um, and it, just, it just helps. I and mean, I play off that energy, you know, playing off 24,000 people, and then you have, you have the people watching at home all across the nation. And, I mean, how do you not play off of that? Were you all aware that you had held them without a field goal for so long? Uh, I was not, but I'm pretty sure that we didn't score either for a very long time. So, uh, I mean, this is this is how the game state was, and it wasn't really progressing. And you know, I was in the huddle, and I was like, Coach, like we need to do something, like get a basket or something. Yeah, it, just, it was just very stagnant. And it happens after that Tennessee game. Y'all had really physical practices, and you really said you wanted to get back defensively, and you put together. Two yeah, it was like. Uh, I know. I think I still have a lot to work on. I'm still not really uh, where I want to be. I'm trying not to be complacent. I'm still kind of disappointed. Last game, I was especially disappointed in how I played. Uh, uh, but you know, it's just it's things you work on day to day. And I know I have the skill set and stuff, the tools to do it, and it'll happen. So Derek, you didn't realize they missed 21. Oh, what's, I'm sorry. What's, you didn't realize they missed 21 shots in a row over an 18 minute period. I mean, it just happens. I mean, sometimes teams come into rough, and you know they just can't, you know, the goals like that. And you know, sometimes it's you know huge guy goes for 40. You know, it's just, it's just how it is. And tonight, I think our defense that we've been focusing on has just helped us and you know, just showed. Something like that defense, uh, like 15, 18, almost 20 turnovers. Oh, really? great, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, great defenses make great offenses. Talk about that. That is true. I mean, we have improved on defense. I would, you know, I give credit to everyone on that, and you know, the coaching staff, of course. But uh, then again, I mean, Georgia as a team has turn more turnovers than they do assists anyway. So it was there was a turnover prone team, and we was just trying to key on that, pressure their guys, and you know, st the statistics show you know they're probably going to turn it over more than they're going to you know, make a play. Is that something in practice, knowing they had a turnover ratio like that? I'm pretty sure I just heard that today. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I just heard that today. I mean. And you know, that's just what we did. You know, we just make things, make changes on the fly, and you hear different things, and it's just how it goes.
the issue with the trainer didn't look to be anything serious. What was going on there? Over my back. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's my whole. I mean, it was obviously like my back was killing me, but my whole body's just like it was starting to like shut down in the game. And I was my. I felt like I couldn't. Every time I was running, it was like like just a, like a pulse in my back. So. But you know, you just gotta play through your stuff like that, and it just happens. They rolled me out and tried to loosen it up and gave me heat. So, was that new tonight? I'm sorry. Was that new tonight? I mean, it's kind of been like that, you know, throughout the season. I've just been getting treatment on it and trying to deal with it how I can, and it's starting to just catch up to me. So, I don't know. I'll figure something out, and I'm not really worried about it. Is that what comes with playing more minutes? I'm sorry. Is that what comes with playing more minutes? I mean, I feel like I do a decent job of taking care of my body. There's probably more things you could obviously do, but. Um, I mean, it could be a minute thing, getting on my body, and if that's the case, I'm just getting better shape and go from there.